straps in my ride. Gotta go to prison. You waiting on me to die? You gonna be waiting for a minute. Somebody better tell them I'm ready for whatever. I'll be here when the smoke clears and everything's set up for real. <laughs> Man, you already know what it is. Jay Williams, I'm living life, and we're back. The Drunken Chronicles. White boy wasted. Ecstasy incident. That was a crazy incident. That was a crazy night. That was a crazy time of my life. But things only got more chaotic as the years progressed. Now, mind you, I've been open to the fact that I was an alcoholic. I will always be an alcoholic. There is no I was. I'm still an alcoholic. I just don't drink. But I will always be an alcoholic. In those days, I did the most. You take me, I'm already full throttle. Just in my everyday life and the way I am. If I do something, I do it to the max. I'm wide open with it. Now you take some alcohol and mix it in. That is the perfect recipe for a disaster. I had dudes that literally would not hang out with me when they knew I was drinking. And you're talking dudes from the gutter, dudes from the trenches. A lot of these dudes went on to catch bodies. These are dudes that were in the streets seven days a week. Once we started the clubbing thing, I turned 21. I'm old enough to bar hop, club hop, be downtown, do all this and do all that. My own boys went out with me a few times. But the ones that were smart, oh no, they would lie. Hey, what y'all doing tonight? I'm going out. Y'all going out? No, we ain't going out. Come on, man. It's Saturday. Let's hit the clubs. No, we good, homeboy. Then I'll be in the club, and I would see them. Jay, you be tripping, man. You always get violent when we go out. We ain't trying to fight with the bouncers. We just want to come in and have fun, man. You always mess things up. I took offense to that. But looking back on it, they were right. I wouldn't want to go out with me. I wouldn't want to go out with the dude I used to be. Who wants to go out with somebody knowing... There's a 100% chance something's going to pop off tonight. And there's a 75% chance you're going to go to jail. No, I'm good. You go ahead and go do what you do. I'm going to go this way. Looking back on the mentality of it, it makes sense to me now. It didn't at the time. I was that guy. I didn't go looking for trouble. It's like I had trouble written on me. I don't know if it was my demeanor, the way I positioned my shoulders, the way I looked at people what it was, but it was like I was a trouble magnet. If somebody showed up at the club in a bad mood and they decided they wanted to fight tonight or they were going to just somehow crash out, it always ended with me. Maybe I had that in my mind and maybe I was just the guy that was in there looking for that guy that was in there looking to do what I just said. So with the bar scenes, the clubs, it seems like every time we went out, there was a story to be told. It seems like every time we went out, something happened. I tried to think on, there's so many that I can speak on and there's so many I can't. There's some that just ended bad, that cannot be spoke on. There were times I'd show up to the club, they would see me and they'd hit the exit. Now we up out of here. He almost got us killed by the police last time we went out. But tonight, I got a good story for you. It's a whole lot. <laughs> White boy wasted. The drunken chronicles. With all that being said, you know how to seen it. You know how to lived it. So, let's relive it. Real quick, shout out to my homeboy, Kevin with Bellwood Beats. Right there is where you can find it. Also, the link to it is in the bio. I think it's like 99 cents. What can you get for 99 cents these days? I'm trying to think, what costs 99 cents? If you had $1 to your name, what could you go buy? Now or later? Maybe. Is there anywhere to even sell sodas for 99 cents? What's something you could spend 99 cents on that you could have forever? Hmm. Sure, there's a lot of things, but I can't think of them. Everything's in front of these days. Once again, there's the ringtone. Thank you to my homeboy, Kev. Let's get into today's story. People turn 21 every day. For a lot of people, it's a milestone. Maybe it's when you're going to move out. Maybe you're going to do this. Maybe you're going to do that. For me, all it meant is now I can legally drink. All it meant is now I can buy my own alcohol. It meant I can go to the bar. I can really go to the club. Or I can turn all the way up. And I ain't got to worry about the bouncer kicking me out again for what's in my cup. We used to have a club in Richmond, right? Called Visions. 
I've been to Visions a lot. Love Visions. Club was jumping. Several different dance floors and several different bars. Place was super, super turned up. Everybody that was anybody used to be in there. I like to go clubbing in all white. Don't ask me why. Well, if I wouldn't be in all white, I'd be in something that was just loud. Something that stood out, right? So I'm the regular. I'm known in this club to visit on the weekends. I get to drinking on a Tuesday one night. Big bottles, big bottle gang. Chug, chug, chug. You know how we do. By 9, 30, 10 o'clock at night, I ask my homeboys, you know, what's up, man? Y'all trying to go out? Jay, it's a Tuesday. Ain't nobody trying to go club hopping on no Tuesday. The clubs ain't jumping like that on Tuesday. I'm in drunk mode. You know how drunk mode is. You're not trying to take no for an answer. You're not listening to reason. Nothing nobody says is going to register in my head. So I go on about myself. Whatever, I would go by myself. Now, at the time, I wrecked my car. So I call a cab. Cab takes me downtown. Where you want me to drop you off? Drop me off right here on Franklin Street. Drop me off on the corner at the Exxon. Drop me off. Go inside the store, grab me another beer, grab a 40, go beside the building. Now, I'm in club mode now. I'm fresh. Fresh Air Force Ones, fresh everything on, right? Brand new, fresh, white fitted. Stand beside the store. You got some of the vagrants, the homeless people out there. There's a lot of homeless people out downtown. Kick it with them. I'm drunk. I'll talk to anybody. Da, 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 boom, bucking on this 40, right? Trying to get a little more turned up before I head to the club. So I go to the first club. I mean, uh, maybe an hour. And this was, they had Taco Tuesday. This is at a place called Tiki Bob's. They had Taco Tuesdays and like very, very cheap tacos. It was like 10 cent tacos. But shots were a dollar. So with $20, that's 20 shots. And I'm bucking these little miniature tacos. I'm washing them down. Put some on my stomach. I know not to drink on an empty stomach because then I really get crazy. And I get to the point where I've had so many shots that they cut me off. What you mean I can't drink no more? Y'all don't want my money. Who cares if I can stand up? Hand them to me. I'll drink them down here. I'm turned. The bartender won't serve me no more. So I wait till the bartender's not paying attention. And I hit the other bartender up. I can't even fully pronounce the drink I want. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. You had too much. How did you get here? Because you need to call your ride. You are drunk. No, I'm not trying to hear none of that. Give me more shots. I got issues. I got problems. I drink to resolve them. That's what I do. No, no. By law, we cannot give you any more alcohol. You look like you are one shot away from death. Stop drinking. I'm out, man. If y'all ain't gonna serve me no more alcohol, I'm out. I'm bouncing. I dip. Head down the strip. Now you got people coming in and out of clubs. It's summertime, so you got the patios open. Music's jumping from each club. This is a whole strip of clubs, right? I go to the next club. Bouncer won't even let me in. You see ID? Takes one look at me. Nah, I can't let you in, man. What you mean you can't let me in? And I've got that mean mug face. What you mean you can't let me in? I can't let you in. Why? You've had too much to drink, man. You need to go ahead and sleep it off. I'm coming in the club. Then two or three of them step up. Brolic, big boy mode. Hmm. All right, I ain't that drunk yet. I'm out. I dip. I'm going to Visions. I done been to Visions so many times. They know me at Visions. I ain't never been on a Tuesday, but I've been to Visions a bunch of times. Walk up to the door. There's no bouncer. So I'm cold. You go in, there's a second door you go in, and they check IDs right there, and you pay to get in the club. I come in, and the regular bouncer that I usually see, he's not there. It's a tall white dude, right? Now, grant you, this is 2001. Or things weren't like they are now, back in 2001. I walk into the bouncer, and I look at him. It's a tall gay dude. It's kind of odd for it being 2001, especially with him being a bouncer. I've never seen this dude before. I've been here a million times. When did they hire you? Like, this is not a good look for the club. No offense to anybody. This was 2001, right? So I'm like, all right, man. I'll give him my ID. He says, you sure you're at the right place? Why are you questioning where I'm at, man? You're going, hey, give my ID back. Hey, put my wristband on. I go on in. I go to the bar. 
That's not the bartender that's usually here on the weekends. Where's the bartender at? Where's everybody at? Who is he? Who is she? Who are they? So I sit down at the bar, order my drink, make it strong. I tip well. They bring the Long Island. I stir it, throw the straw aside, bucket, bong, slam the glass. Bartender, make another one of them Long Islands. What'd you do with the one I just gave you? Lemon crushed inside the glass laying there. It's gone. I need another one. She looks at me. Okay. Makes me another one. No sooner she makes that, sits it down, stir it. Boom. Sit the glass down. Now I got to let this marinate on my stomach. I just bucked too long on iced teas on top of all the other alcohol I've consumed that night. She walks off. She comes back. Hey, bartender. Meanwhile, I'm looking around and the music they're playing is not the music they usually play. This is not the greatest hits. This is not what they're playing on the radio in 2001. Where they find this music at? This is way different. This music just makes me feel just happy. Like I just want to jump around. Like I feel so full of joy. Where they get this music at? I ain't never heard none of this before. What what's going on? Bartender. What's up? Let me get up. Red-headed slut. One red-headed slut coming up. It's a drink. If you don't know about it, ask about it. Brings it. Stir it up. It's a cocktail. Boom. Gone. So now, I'm big lit. I was lit when I came in. I walked in, staggered sideways. Then I sat on the bull. I, you, know, you ever been so drunk that you didn't know how drunk you were until the moment you stood up? And then you're like, oh, I'm drunk. This is one of those nights. Oh, I got a crazy story for y'all on one of those two, but I'll do that another night. So I'm sitting there, right? And now the alcohol is fully kicked in. The lights are flashing. The music's blasting. People everywhere dancing. I'm looking around. I look over. And I see this chick kiss this other chick. Okay. Okay. Y'all living like that tonight, huh? Damn, they... Two bad girls over there kissing. I'm going to hang out with them. And I continue to look, but I don't want to be that creepy guy. And I'm looking, I'm like, dang, they just making out. Like, like I said, it's 2001. Where bisexual was a thing with the females. But as far as like everybody in society just coming out the closet like they have these days, that was not a thing. So I'm like, damn, they just, they must be really drunk. That would be the only time you'd see something like that was when somebody was really intoxicated. I go back to drinking. I stand up. This is the whole, you realize how drunk you are when you stand up. I stand up and I'm like, oh, almost fall back. Bartender's like, you all right? And I grab one as a, a rail, like a gold rail that goes around the outside of the bar. I grab the rail, boom, just holds me up. I lean back forward. I said, no. She said, you all right? I don't want to get cut off. I said, I stood up a little too fast. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I am not good. I'm feeling sick. Ooh. I stagger my way through the crowd. Make it to the bathroom. I get sick. Go to the sink. Rinse my mouth out with some water. <sighs> Disgusting tasting. I go sit back at the bar. I order another drink. Drinking my drink. I'm looking around. Boom. See two dudes kiss. Hold up, cuz. We got going on in here, man. It still has not dawned on me what I have walked into. So I look down the bar. Nobody down there. I look down the bar this way. Blonde chick sitting at the bar all by herself. This is why guys go to the club a lot of times to find those females. That female sitting down at the bar. So I'm looking down at I got them drunk goggles on now. You know about the drunk goggles where, where this looks like this. And I'm looking. And I just can't pinpoint what is wrong with the chick sitting about seven, eight stools over from me. And then it dawns on me. Chick's bigger than I am. It's a big ass woman. And not like fat. I mean like shaped. Like big. Like probably could be the bouncer big. And as I start to look more, things start to dawn on me. And I hear somebody go, hey, honey, you know where you at? And I look forward at the bartender. And the bartender's got, like, ribbons tied in her hair and all this different stuff going on with her hair. I said, yeah, I'm at Visions. She was like, oh, no. 
It's Tuesday night. This is not visions. It is visions. It says vision. I know where I'm at. I know where I just came to. Been here a hundred times, man. It says visions right on the front. Oh, you ain't see the light in the window cut on. What light in the window? What's 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 tell me about the light? I don't know nothing about no light. What you got a light? What's the light in the window? Tell me. She's like, you didn't see the light that said club colors? What's the club colors? What is the, this is visions, man. I've been here. Me and my homeboys been in here a million times. Out of bag joints out of here. This is, nah, this is visions. This is club colors on Tuesday. Col what is that, racist? What you talking about, club colors? What do you mean, club colors? She's like, look around the room. You don't fit in here. I'm pretty sure you stumbled in here drunk by mistake. I didn't stumble in by mistake. I know where I'm at. So you know where you're at. Yeah, I'm at Visions. I'm trying to tell you, on Tuesday night, it is not Visions. Tuesday night, it becomes Club Colors. So what's the difference? The difference is everybody here is gay. Skirt! What did you say? Everybody in here is gay. You look like the guy that shouldn't be here. Everybody's gay. I look around. It all dawns on me. It makes sense now. The chick's kissing. The two dudes kissing. The big brolicky chick sitting down at the end of the bar. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I can't go anywhere else to drink. Now it's gotten late in the night. The other bars, if they do let you in, it's the last call for alcohol. She says, you might want to leave. I said, ain't nobody messing with me, and I ain't messing with nobody. I'm just going to sit here and have my drink. I'm not going nowhere. We got about another 30, 45 minutes of drinking until y'all call last call for alcohol. And I'm not trying to pay no, pay no more club fees. And with the condition I'm in, most of these clubs ain't going to let me in anyway. I don't tell her that, but I know that. So my plan is focus on the alcohol. Don't pay attention to what's going on around me. Don't let my eyes wander because I'm going to see something I don't want to see. So I'm sitting there tending my drink, stirring it. And what do I do? I glance the room. You're not going to catch me slipping. I might not want to know what's going on in here, but I'm a street dude. I'm not stupid. I can always be somebody floating throughout the crowd looking to take my top off or something I done done. So I got to be aware of my surroundings. So I start, I'm strong in mine. You know, I'm secure in mine. I ain't got nothing to worry about. Ain't nothing gay about me. I don't question myself. I don't question nothing. I am secure in who I am. So being around gay people does not bother me. Just there's limits on what you're going to do around me because certain things will make me feel uncomfortable as they should. I look around. I start to notice a common theme. Got people in here wearing a lot of leather, tight leather. Got a lot of big men in here. Big women, men. Big men dressed up like women. And it's like every chick that I look at isn't really a chick. It's a dude. I said, you know what? I got this. I'm not going to do what everybody thinks I'm going to do and freak out. I got this. Ain't nobody hitting on me. Ain't nobody messing with me. I'm strictly here for the alcohol. Stay focused on the objective here, Jay. You got this. Don't let, you know what I mean? Don't be one of them weird homophobic guys that, that acts like that. This is 2001, and that is exactly how everybody acted, right? Continue to focus on my drink. I look to my right. Shifted two stools down. But she is not a she. She is a he. You can't hide that big ass Adam's apple from me. I might be drunk, but I'm not dumb. I look to my right. Boom. Damn, you pretty close now, right? Gets up. Scoots another chair over. So now there's two chairs separating me from this dude. This dude looking like a woman. And I hear music is super loud. Hey, how you doing? Continue to drink like I don't hear it. Sip from my straw, which now I feel weird even sipping from the straw. So take straw out, drink from the glass. Let it be known I am a man. Come on. I said, how you doing? Hey, what's up? You come here a lot? Nope. Continues trying to carry a conversation. Bartender walks over, whispers something. I'm going to assume the bartender probably told him. He's not gay. He's in here drinking. He stumbled in the wrong club. Probably should leave him alone. If you're in a gay club, everybody there assumes that you're gay or you wouldn't be in a gay club. Joke's on me. I didn't know. Bartender walks back off. 
I glimpse over. Dude is staring at me. Just looking at me. Mm -mm. Dude look like a lady. That's not a chick. At that point there, I felt uncomfortable. What I don't want to happen is I end up on the news for some hate crime. Because if I get to getting loose in here and end up beating up one of these dudes in this club, especially with it being club colors and not club visions, I'm going to make the news. Hey, yo. Don't say anything else to me, man. Straight like that. Do not say another word to me. I'm not with all that. What you see going on. Whatever you do is what you do. But I know she told you. So don't say nothing else to me. Why are you so close to me? How did you get all the way? Mine. Like, like, Sorry to do that to y'all. Too much happened that night for me to put it all in one video. That was a crazy night. Has a very crazy crazy ending anytime you end up in an environment that you didn't set off to be in and your whole night goes from you thinking it's going to be one thing to you feeling really uncomfortable and once again i have no problem zero problem with anyone's sexual preference be true to you whoever you are you do your thing i don't have any problem with that just don't push it on me don't make me feel uncomfortable don't do things that you know, you shouldn't, like, whatever you do, that's on you. Just don't push your agenda at me, and we're fine. It was a really bad night. It ended really bad. Not just for me, but for other people as well. But I didn't make the news. Stay tuned for part two of the Drunken Chronicles. White boy wasted once again. Except this time, I remember what happened. Got pretty lit. And then that and then that and that. so much took place. And you'll catch it all in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. But anyways, these jails, these penitentiaries, these streets, these tricky bars. They're all just crazy world inside of an already crazy world we live in. And as always, y'all know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to keep y'all entertained. Are you not entertained? And like always, this is Jay Williams. I'm living life. And to all my real ones, and there are some real ones watching, because y'all still watching me. Man, y'all know how we do. Salute. Catch you on part two. Bye.